Hello everyone, I'm Shraddha Khatiora and um, this video is about the personal reflection on master's project uh, which we have done on front-end web application. The video mainly includes my personal participation, contribution and my learning towards the project. At the beginning, let's talk about my strength uh, which was used while doing this project and which I am proud of. So uh, at first talking about the writing skill, I have developed good writing skill over time where I can write my ideas with simple English avoiding technical jargon so that any reader can understand it easily. So uh, another uh, skill that ha I have is communication skill and I have developed this also um, over time. So. Um, uh, which uh, helped me in each meeting where I listen to my client actively to understand the specification and can interpret to the team member whenever required. So talking about teamwork, it is a very um, essential skill when working with the team. So I'm also very good at uh, great at teamwork because I not only listen to what the team leader said, sometimes I present my views towards it too. I also help uh, my team member to do their work whenever they get stuck in somewhere. Uh, talking about the coding, I am also very a uh, passionate coder. I have been coding for four years from now and I always love to learn the new programming language. Doing this project, I got opportunity to learn about a new programming language, React.js and I love doing that. So I'm also very uh, well organized in doing something uh, because um, I love to um, organize things prior to doing something so that uh, work goes systematically by the way and um, uh, can complete in the given deadline so i'm also very good at time management because uh, as we are not only me all of our team member is very good at time management so we were able to complete everything on time so talking about uh, some of my contribution uh, which I made uh, on the project. So at first, uh, I would like to say that our team leader um, assigned us a task in every sprint which we were allocated to complete in the given deadlines. So I finished all the assigned tasks on time to meet the given deadline of the sprint and I sometimes help my team member um, to do their work if my work is uh, completed prior to the given deadline as well. I also actively took part on the project write-up where I specifically um, uh, did uh, some of the introduction part, project objectives and some of the research as well. I also um, did the project approach, uh, write the project approach uh, in some st extent. I also integrated all the works done by our team leader and uh, other, the other team members as well. So I also worked as the front-end web developer on the web page where mainly I was assigned to do the React table and map on the project as the React table was the um, essential view of the uh, web page. So uh, I also worked in collaboration with the team member in completing tasks, engaging with my team member and uh, seeking help whenever I required and giving them help whenever they required. So I also helped in organizing the task and uh, communicating notices within the team. Moving on to my top uh, top three contribution. Since the page we built is mostly dependent on the table to display company's information, the decision to choose the proper table was very important. When I researched for different option, I came across different kinds of table available to use, such as material table, bootstrap table, react table, um, grid table, data table, etc. Since our client wanted to have customized on a data presentation within the table, I suggested my team to work on the React table as it would provide us the flexibility to customize table's content as we wanted 
and also table functionalities like searching sorting could also be achieved easily compared to other options so i integrated react table and successfully loaded the company data into react table i also work on the table searching functionality and customize the pagination as well so talking about my next achievement I uh, worked on integrating a map within the web page to display the company data over map. The fundamental function while working with map integration um, is the ability to change standard address uh, to geolocation so that the map is able to pinpoint the company over the um, sorry geo geographical structure. This would have been easily done if we had integrated Google Map, however, due to certain uh, limitation at the client's end, we had to go for another option, which was integration of OpenStreetMap. But this came uh, with a lot of limitation and uh, one, um, one of them was the inability to easily convert the standard address into geocode. So I not only integrated the map, uh, but also work in the conversion of the address to zero code to pinpoint the company over the map. So um, the third most contribution um, towards the project is the final phase of the documentation where I thoroughly uh, worked on the reviewing the documentation integrating each team members content on the final documentation I also formatted the project write-up as per the academic guidelines and I also did some of the portion of the uh, project introduction uh, so did some of the research and I also wrote some of the project I approach and worked on the figures as well so um, this is the page where I have integrated the react table and populated it with the company data. The original react table had search filter inside the table header but as you can see I also customized it and have placed the search field in the new row below. Uh, below the um, table header I also customized the pagination placed below the table. So this is the another screenshot that shows the work I did on the map integration. The pin in the map points to the location of the company's displays uh, displayed beside the maps. So uh, talking about the personal takeaways in the project, uh, in the master's project that we did. So I found that uh, requirement collection and its well documentation uh, is very crucial for the project life cycle as it decides how the project will go um, uh, during the time and uh, working in the agile environment also give a chance to understand the issue better and uh, come up with a better solution and uh, it also allows us to work closely with the client to know about the requirement and modify the um, project or product time and again and i also learned that the Trust and dependence are the major factor when working with the team. We always have to trust and also sometimes we have to be dependent on something uh, for our, with our team. In uh, most of the development based project changes are incons inconsistent and as a developer we must be ready to handle such changes. And um, I also learned that effective communication can help the project uh, development proceed smoothly, whereas the poor communication can lead to the um, uh, project destruction or uh, we could not deliver the project on time or the quality of the project could not be made uh, nicely. I also learned that the time management is also one of the most essential factor while doing the project as uh, sometimes we also have to do the multitask uh, as well. 
and I also uh, learned that the proper planning supported by the proper research can also help us better understand the issue and uh, uh, build the deb uh, build the product um, with the given um, build the product with the quality that meets the quality and that meets the standards. So talking about the uh, learnings, while doing the master's project, I got the opportunity to upskill my learning to write the optimized code in ReactJS, Next.js and TypeScript as ReactJS was a new programming language for me. I also uh, learned to use the pre-written library so that the job would be done faster and uh, could be done with smoothly and nicely as well so I and I also learned to do research and um, I came to know that we could come up with the better solution if we do the research I also learned to be uh, dependent on my team members whenever necessary so that uh, time will be utilized wisely and all of the team members have the equal contribution towards the project as well and um, I also learned to effectively communicate with my team member as well as the client wherever we have problems uh, um, or I'm stuck in something I uh, I communicated wisely with my team member or my supervisor uh, to solve the resolve the problem as well I also learned to do multitask as we had a limited time frame so we had to do a multitasking at a time so i learned to do multitasking to manage the time uh, based on the priority so uh things uh, that i liked about the course is it presented us the opportunity to use the theoretical understanding in a real working environment it also boosted my confident um confidence towards working in australian it companies and as um, as this course provided us with the uh, individual supervisor and mentors who gave us uh, uh, their most of the time to help us during our confusion or uh, to when we are stuck in something so the things that i disliked um about the course is we had very less time to work on the project and uh, the course gave more emphasis to the project write-up than the actual project development. As being a coder, I like to uh, code more than doing the documentation. So I think it should be given the equal priority to the project write-ups as well as the coding part as well. Finally, I would like to thank the course coordinator, uh, the program tutor, the supervisor, client and my team member for presenting the opportunity and providing the help and support whenever and wherever it was necessary with this i'd like to end my presentation thank you